Corey Knebel comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. First pitch on its way. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Number eight, Brian Braun. So next to bat will be Brian Braun, singled in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. In now, Prince Fielder. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. The 1-0. Misses for the second ball. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at two and one. Line drive to center field. Taylor is there. Two gone. The right fielder, number nine, Reggie Jackson. Making his way to the plate once again, Reggie Jackson. And he needs just a triple for the cycle. So let's see if he can put one in the gap. First offering on its way. Lifted in the air to center. Taylor is there. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. Milwaukee leaves one. They lead it big, though. It's 12-3. Cutting into this big deficit. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. You know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Gavin Lux is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. is swung on and missed two are quickly retired to start inning number eight classic slider down and away from the strike out there not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already that's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode stepping in now Justin Turner so go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory Wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a liner. Jackson gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Dodgers down in order. They're down a bunch. It's 12 to 3. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and next will be the speed threat. Jimmy Rollins. First pitch of the A.B. now. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. Really deceptive changeup right there. It died right before the plate, and he was left reaching for air. Ani pops it up. 
Lux is calling for it and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Up next from Milwaukee. The second base ready now is Robinson Cano. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. Lined to short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. The bat, the catcher, Omar Garfaya. Standing in now, Omar Narvaez. Oh, As he'll take a look at ball one. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Looking up is the right fielder. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. Solo shot to right center. Second home run early in the year as they just continue to pour it on here. How about the work the lineups have been doing so far, fellas? Yeah, Matty B. One of the things you look for when you come to a Brewers game at Miller Park, you want to see Bernie Brewer go down the slide. And Bernie Brewer's fanny's got to be a little bit sore after this one. <laughs> Damn, one, one of my favorite, favorite places to hit at. I, I, I always yeah. felt like great batter's eye in dead center. You can move traffic to both gaps. A lot of well, the play's been made, and with it comes the end of the inning. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. Last chance coming up here for the Dodgers. Milwaukee leads it 13 to 3. And now in the box, Edwin Rios starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Good pitch there, called a strike on the inside corner. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Braun is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. A reminder to stick around after the ball game ends tonight. We'll have full highlights from this evening's contest right here on the show. First pitch coming. Here it is. Corey Seager comes on with one gun here as he looks at a called strike one. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. Go oh. on the first and now the Dodgers are down to their final out. So now into the box is Zach McKinstry. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Swing and a line drive. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. And if you're looking for what this game was decided, that's pretty easy. It was the big fourth inning. That was the big turning point, and they made it stand up the rest of the way. 13 to 3 at the final score. The Brewers hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Brandon Woodruff wins his third of the season. Trevor Bauer slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.
time of the ball game. Four hours and nine.